somebody commented that it was Butterfly Effect the game, and I had never thought of it, but that's a pretty fair comparison. Hey guys, I'm BC Shahan, and because we're in the middle of the Steam Greenlight campaign, I think today would be a good time to talk a little bit about what Tumbling Apart actually is, and some of the gameplay and mechanic features of the game. I've noticed during development, there's a lot of people that say things like, oh, this game's about this guy's sister, and something bad happens to her, and also time travel. And it seems like it's all a little vague, and maybe more information needs to be relayed to the players. So, when you start the game, you take the role of a man named Isaac, who's serving as the caretaker to his sister, McKenna. And pretty much immediately, you learn that all is not well for the two. They're socially isolated, and they rely exclusively on each other for survival. And to complicate things, McKenna is suffering from an ailment that's killing her, and it's an ailment that Isaac is responsible for placing her into. Obviously, this skill is pretty overwhelming to him, and it's to the point where it's totally consumed him. So when McKenna actually does pass, he's in this horrible emotional state of mind. But then this event happens where you, as Isaac, are attending her funeral, and something very strange occurs. He isn't even sure what it is himself, but he finds himself flung back in time to a pretty big event in their childhood. And it's literal, true time travel. And, at first at least, he doesn't really understand what's triggering it, and he doesn't have any control over how or when it happens, and all he knows is that it is happening. And when he comes back to the present, it has a tangible effect on the world around him. So he keeps going back and forth between present and past, and you live out the biggest moments of their lives, all the while as he's trying to undo the situation he's put her into. Somebody commented that it was Butterfly Effect the game, and I had never thought of it, but that's a pretty fair comparison. But I think what I'm trying to do with the game is get you to see the story of these two and their life and recognize the beauty that can be found in even the most absolutely dark of places. You're going back in time and you see how horrible their past was, but you really start to be empathetic and understand their situation and why they mean so much to each other. It dawns on you why Isaac would be willing to do anything for his sister and why she would do the same. You know, you, you see firsthand their struggles with abusive parental relationships, alcoholism, drug use, abandonment, isolation, and just the devastating effects of personal loss. And it's nothing that they really had anything to do with. It was thrust upon them by chance, and the cards they were dealt are so awful. But a beautiful love is born from this terrible, terrible darkness, and it's kind of a wonderful thing. Um, it reminds me a little of the question of, can there be true joyfulness without suffering? <clears throat> But saying all this, you know, Tumbling Apart is still a game. The main focus is the story, but I want to make sure there's a lot going on to actively engage the player. And one way we're going to do that is through puzzles. In fact, puzzles are going to be the primary gameplay mechanic. I didn't want to just throw them in there as a way to say, okay, this is a narrative-based game, so we need to throw some puzzles in, but I wanted to include them in a way where they make sense and actually advance the plot of the story in a logical and meaningful way. Like, for instance, in the beginning of the game, there's a storm, and you wake up and you want to go check on McKenna, but the lightning's blowing one of your bulbs. So you have to find a replacement, because, you know, you don't want to trip in the dark going up the stairs. Stuff like that. We're also going to engage the player with animations. I said it in another video, but games like this can sometimes feel a little static, and I'm going to try really hard to not fall into the trap with this one. There's probably going to be several thousand hand-drawn animations, and the purpose of that is to draw you in. You know, one or two little animations isn't much, but the sum of these parts can really all come together and make a world that feels like it's living and breathing. Um, we're running out of time. I wanted to keep this video under five minutes, but I also want to mention player choice. You might have already seen from a few of the shots here on the screen, but it's going to be a big part of the game. And they're going to have a real effect, and there's multiple branching choices with a lot of the decisions that you do make. And I don't ever want to make them feel counterfeit or cheap. I want them to feel like they're real choices, the type you'd have to make yourself in real life. And sometimes they won't even be difficult choices, but regular choices in something simple like a conversation that may not seem like much, but ends up having a huge effect. Again, it's like the butterfly effect, how the flap of a butterfly's wings in California can eventually trigger a hurricane in Asia. You know, you've heard it all before. But uh, anyway, guys, I didn't want to take up too much of your time, so I'll let you go. Uh, just be sure to check out the green light page and vote yes if you like the game. The support's been awesome so far, but we need your vote if this game is going to become a reality. It's so, so important, guys. Um, so if you don't mind, check under the link, and have a good day.